If you guys had clicked on this video, you are asking yourself, how do I maximize this investment that I just made? Or maybe somebody made for you. The iPad is a creator's dream. It's something that business professionals use each and every day to plan their days, motivate their teams, and move their organizations forward. Today, I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite accessories that I use for digital planning. All right, before we get started, I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System. This is a robust planning system. It's bigger than just a digital planner that you would find online. It is an actual planning system built for professionals like yourself, for individuals to help balance your personal life, your work, your careers, your ambitions, the things you want to do in the coming year, or just the things you want to improve upon in your own life. That system has been designed exclusively to work with different devices like the iPad, Samsung Tab, Remarkable, any Windows tablet, and it is something that we designed to keep each and every one of you in mind. It's very flexible and user-friendly, and we provide tons of training. But today, guys, I wanna talk about the iPad. Many of you guys have opened the iPad for the very first time. You're getting online, you're thinking, what can I do with this? How can I maximize it? And the first thing that comes to mind is accessories. What accessories are really gonna help you build out your productivity plan and make sure that this device is the right investment for you? So the first thing I wanna show you is the Apple Pencil. These Apple Pencils, generation one and generation two, and there's a handful of alternatives. If you check out the link in the description, you guys will be able to go to our website and see these products firsthand and see descriptions for alternative ideas and things that are gonna help you with your writing experience on these tablets. But when I look at this pencil, Originally when the iPad came out, it was all about using your finger. Use your finger to navigate where you want to go. But we found out real quick that we wanted to have a tablet-like experience. We wanted to get away from that yellow notepad, that white notepad, and be able to make our notes digitally. And when they introduced the Apple Pencil, that really made that possible. This gives you a real life writing experience. It's something that you can easily grab, hit to the tablet, and it looks like you're actually writing handwriting and we know the benefits of handwriting by handwriting you improve your memory you commit to it and you are more likely to achieve the things you set out to do the second item which obviously we're going to talk about is a digital planner a professional digital planner i won't dive into it a lot but having a digital planner on your ipad where you can take notes you can journal you can write out your plans is really going to maximize the use of this product it's really going to help you get a great value from your investment. When I look at digital planning, it goes beyond just scheduling out time blocks and writing down events and activities, but it goes into a depth of where I'm thinking about my vision, the things that I want to achieve. I'm setting goals. I'm indicating in what times of the year I want to maximize and implement those goals. It is truly a planning system that helps you understand that. And our planner does that for you. And when you encompass that with an iPad, where you can take your notes wherever you go, all of those binders and books and different paper-like systems that you've used in the past can come off your shelf, they don't have to be gone through, and your planner, your notes, your journaling is with you wherever you go for years to come. The next item we're gonna talk about is a paper-like screen cover. One of the most common complaints that I hear from people that are just embarking on digital planning and starting to write with a tablet and a pencil for the very first time, tell me, Brandon, I don't like the feel of writing on glass with a plastic surface. It doesn't have that paper-like feel. Well, when you write in a notepad with a pencil or a pen, there's a little bit of friction. There's a little noise that is made, and it helps hold your pen in place. By adding a paper-like screen cover to your iPad, it gives you not only a textured-like finish that you can use to have better note-taking, and it takes away that direct glass on plastic feel that you would experience without it, but it also cuts back on glare. So if you have overhead lights that are shining down on your surface or on your iPad, it's going to help reduce that, if not even eliminate that, so you can enjoy the writing experience better. And also, it is a screen cover, so that's going to help your device be protected from scratches and wear and tear that comes. I find by using these screen covers, I enjoy my writing experience more uh, than I would without it, and it's something that makes me feel good about having my device safe and protected 
from small mishaps. And there's going to be a time when you are going to want to sit down and have a computer-like experience. And that's where having a keyboard and mouse attached to your iPad is going to be something that is going to greatly benefit you. I personally like the Logitech Combo Touch uh, device. It to me is a little bit better than the Apple Magic Keyboard for a few reasons when it comes to digital note taking because there's so many different versatile modes and different viewing angles and things that you can use to work with to not only give you the benefit of being able to use that as a keyboard and maximize this computing power but also being able to switch away and still easily start handwriting notes. I'll often be typing something say hey I want to take a quick note Boom, pop off the keyboard, slide back the iPad, and I can go ahead and start handwriting notes with this device. On top of that, it protects the device. It has padded corners, it has a hard shell, but it still allows me to store my Apple Pencil and charge it when I'm on the go or just have it with me wherever I need to. This keyboard, in my mind, is the best bang for its buck. The only thing that's probably a disadvantage to it is when you take the keyboard off, you gotta find a place to put it. But it still gives you then the opportunity to have just your tablet in your hand. So if you're sitting on a couch, maybe in bed, and you're browsing the internet or taking notes, you have a little less weight on the device with you. The last thing I want to talk about that I feel is an essential tool when it comes to digital planning and just being able to use your iPad in general is having some type of tablet stand. Now I like a tablet stand that has a wide range of view that I can easily bring it down, bring it up, because I use it for all sorts of things. I have a Macintosh computer and often I'll use my iPad as a second monitor, but then at the same time I might want to watch a movie or watch the news or just be able to browse the internet. Also with this I'm able to convert from that viewing mode to almost a handwriting mode where I have the opportunity to have an inclined display where I can write notes. So there you guys have it. Those are some of my favorite accessories when it comes to digital planning on the iPad. Maybe you're first getting started or maybe you've been digital planning for a while. These tools are going to help improve and increase your productivity. I almost can promise you that because it doesn't meet each and every day. And if guys, if you haven't checked out any of our other videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. By liking this video, it helps spread that joy to others. And by commenting, we'll be there to answer any questions for you or the community can get involved. Let us know how you like these products, if you're using any of them, which ones you like over another's. If there's updates that come out, please post those in the comments below. We'll be sure to be there with you and answering those questions. Guys, we do tons of videos on different tools, different modes, different products out there. So if you haven't, subscribe to the channel so you can get more of that information. And learn about our system. It is something that a lot of entrepreneurs business owners, managers, professionals, people out in our communities are using to improve their goals and reach for the stars. I'm Brandon Bonhoeffer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System, and I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon.